Yorkshire. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, the North Yorkshire men, yeah. <laughs> So is this, where the ma is this where the magic happens? Apparently, you've got me drinking coffee now, you know that. Oh yeah? I'm English, usually I drink tea. But I I'm know, you've been drinking a lot this more coffee. This stress I've been under while I've been making this record. <laughs> Incredible. So Steve Lyon, tell us, what is the best part about working Bit with... Pop. That's it. <laughs> see that? See, see that? Whoa, that's, that's come about sexy. since we started. Actually, that's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. It's healthy. For it's a healthy. vegan. Yeah, for a vegan. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Beer. Yeah, we don't eat meat. No, we don't do that. That's right, kids. Look, you don't eat meat. Yeah, this is this is what you're gonna look like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do you want to know? What about that lot over there? Yeah, we got a bunch of. Uh... Is that the machine that goes ping? That's the machine that goes ping. These have got really cool lights on them as well. See that? Look, if I do that, these um, API units, EQs, and modules. Uh, each one of these is about mm, about a thousand dollars. And they come out of a, an API console, and they sound amazing. Uh, these are old Rupert Neve modules from, again, an old Neve console. The classic piece of kit. I mean, you just can't find this stuff anymore. Um, what kind of artists have recorded with this? Every, everyone. I mean, you know, way back in, in, in the day from, like, the early 70s all the way through to uh, to now, these are really sought after pieces of kit they sound I mean compared to, to the modern uh, pieces of gear they sound incredible and um, the bass we stuck through these guys and um, I mean there's there's probably about in this rack alone I'd say probably about a hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, you know EQ preamps and equipment um, and that's really the reason why I, I come all the way from London from my studio to, to work out here um, is because of that rack of gear and the selection of equipment in the studio. So, yeah, Brave Noise was recorded through all of that, not all at the same time. Nice. You have a favorite piece of equipment over here? Um, Does it depend on the instrument. Difficult, really. Uh, these Teletronics, these um, again. Those are the two ways. Yeah, these are amazing. Uh, they sound incredible. Um, if I could have a couple of these in my studio, we would really start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be the dog. Uh, he's going to bite someone apparently. Yeah. Brody, don't bite anyone. Oh, too late. Brody, 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 come here. Your dog doesn't you quite do know how to bark. Come here. <laughs> what you doing? Leave the poor people alone. <laughs> from you. What about vocals? What did you record those with? A microphone. A microphone. Yeah. Oh yeah, I use this microphone right here. I figured I'll telephone this. Really cool. Yeah. yeah. Check this thing out. Yeah, you don't. Those things you just don't find them anymore. So this is a vintage mic. Yeah. Check this out over here. Yeah. It's got a valve preamp and it's got a valve inside it. That's pretty amazing piece of kit. Um, and again, I've been up here doing several projects before, and I always record with this. Yeah. Yeah. That the the Teletronics, which is this, the LA two A's, and one of these guys, the Wonder Audio. That's basically my what they call the chain chain of command is yeah. kind of this. Yeah. Right. And in the control room, I always like to record in the control room because then I'm I'm closer to the vocalist, and it just makes things. A lot more comfortable, rather yeah. than them being out in the in the big room, which is over there. Look at that. I mean, usually we put the bass player out there because you know. Because he doesn't shower often. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, his instrument is yeah. huge, so um, we uh, we put him out there. And he hasn't changed his shirt since he's been here. Yeah, but but I think he's doing that in Brett's name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So there you go. What about this big bad boy right there? I'm not using it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's enormous. What well, that isn't that. That more for effect. Uh, it, well, I put my tea on it. <laughs> um, Where at? No, that is an SSL 4000. Uh, a great desk. Um, a lot of classic records have been made on it. 
but it's for me. I, I don't I don't need it for what I'm doing at the moment. If I was mixing, then yes. But recording, I just go straight into all that very expensive gear in the back. All that. Yeah. Yeah. And then straight to the computer. Because that's that's the way I work. But. Yeah. Um, so this is more for the mixing stage now. Yeah, I mean, even when I'm mixing, I don't usually use a board anymore. Um, it's just the way that I, I choose to work. But it's got lots of nice lights in it. Yeah. You turn it on. Yeah. It bleeps when you do that. Got an execute button. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's has, for the assistant. It even has a rub button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. There you go.